Hey guys, what's up? I'm Dustin Mankin. This is Excite Video Magazine, and today, if you can see right there, we have something really crazy for you today. Let's go check it out. I saw this car from across the pit area, and my interest was immediately piqued. Someone brought an old unicorn style Mustang to drift, but it wasn't a Mustang. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a S13 Silvia. The shop responsible for this in-progress build has built some other cool cars in the past, like this orange S14 and this World War II era styled S14. But this might be their most ambitious project yet. Not content with mere paint, this S13 is a lot of sculpting worth of vintage styled awesome. Let's go back to the back. They are using a real set of vintage Mustang taillights, but the gas cap, the fuel cap is actually a racing heart center cap. I believe the rear bumper is also a real Mustang part, but below it is a super sweet custom built rear diffuser. Both the rear glass and rear quarter glass are plexiglass installed with screws with the trim just being paint. One thing to remember as you glance around is that this is a work in progress, so I'm sure any rough areas or gaps will be fixed before the final paint is applied. The trunk is held down with hood pins and you can see a little bit how the fender arches go on in this shot right here. Let's go around to the front. This is where all the details went. I can't believe the accuracy of these one-off pieces. The headlight bowls, the way they bolted the grill to the radiator support, simply amazing. The hood and most of the fenders are one piece except for a little section at the back and that leads us to the doors and a great job recreating the body lines. What's under the hood? What else? An SR20 DET. They were having some troubles with it, so I don't have driving shots yet, but it is a killer looking build. A in lines on almost everything, custom intake manifold, split fire coil packs, apexy suction kit feeding a slightly larger turbo on a bottom mount stainless manifold. Everything is cooled by a sick V-mount radiator intercooler setup. The exhaust exits out the side, but let's go back and look at the suspension bits. I can definitely see D-Max tie rods and the tension arm, I don't know. Red could be a lot of makers. To be honest, I'm in the dark on the coilovers too. What I can tell you is that these all connect to some bulk TE37 SLs that look phenomenal. Behind said Volks is a pair of Brembos bringing it all to a halt. We will see this thing together and soon, I can promise you that. I've already filmed it and I'm gonna get to that video as soon as possible. Guys, if you like this video, please like and share because that's gonna help me grow so much. But if you wanna do something for yourself, go ahead and subscribe. That always has been, that always will be for you. That's just so you can see the latest videos coming from Japan. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.